I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage. But I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay. Hmm. We'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. Oh, all right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. Uh, I thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Mattia Binotto. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then? So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the Spec 2 in Odens, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? Ryan. Hey, I'm glad I've caught you. Listen, don't worry about Casper. Let me stop you there. Brian, Casper's the furthest thing from my mind right now. I've got a race to focus on. Good man. In the garage just now, that was my fault. I know how he can be. What, childish? Self-centered? I'm sick of it, Brian. He's been on my case ever since I joined the team. He needs to grow up. Okay, okay. You just leave Casper to me and get your head in the race. Let's put that new power unit to good use, eh? Sure thing, Brian. See you on the other side. What a race we have in store for us today with a competitive field ready to do battle once again. Hold on to the edge of your seat. It's time for another Formula One Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Here we are then, Monza, the 90th time this event has been held. So a special year for F1 fans, particularly the Italians, who are rightly proud of this event and its heritage. Yeah, it always feels a bit special here, doesn't it, Crofty? Hamilton holds the joint record with Schumacher for number of wins here at five apiece, but could snatch it outright today with a six. Nearly a hundred years of history here, so let's see what this year holds in store for the Italian Grand Prix. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ackerman, Carlos Sainz, and Perez, Norris, Ricardo, Stroll, and Alexander Albon, Ocon, Leclerc, George Russell, and Butler, Vettel, Kvyat, 
Antonio Giovinazzi and Aidan Jackson. Gasly and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Right, let's see if we can squeeze some performance out of this new power unit. Good luck out there today. job. Should be within reach soon, Aiden. You are free to race.
strategy is available on the MFD. Copy that. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Window open. Let's box this lap. Exit, exit now. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound.
pits, Casper in the pits. seconds. Our gap behind is 4.3 seconds. second of the car ahead, get ready to use DRS to overtake. Gap to car in 
front is 1.6 seconds. There's three laps of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Well, 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 quite the rivalry forming between the rookie Aiden Jackson and his veteran teammate Casper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from Claren back in 2007. We all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. So, a podium finish. The team must be overjoyed with your driving today. Can you talk us through it, Aidan? I mean, it's the podium. What more could you want? Everything seems to come together today. Great pace, good team strategy, and I managed to extract some good performance from the car. I couldn't be happier. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? I couldn't do it without the support of the team. They've been incredible. I'm feeling looked after and I couldn't ask for more. So any improvements are thanks to them. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Kaspar Ackerman? Look, driver relationships are always going to be tricky. Individually, you're always pushing yourselves, and that can cause friction. I can't let anything like that worry me. Besides, we're fine. Thank you for your time.